Welcome friends in Infigyan. In this very exciting video of factorial equations, we are going to solve a nice factorial equation which is x power 6 plus x cube equal to 12 times x plus 1 factorial. While solving this problem, I will use factorial notation, recursive formula, algebraic manipulation, algebraic identities and our logical argument. So let's get started by writing domain of the given equation. As we all know, factorial is defined for positive integer or better is to say whole number. Means x can be for x factorial, x is whole number. But for our case, x plus 1 factorial is there. So we can consider x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So where x belongs to integer. Okay, that means domain is from minus 1 to infinity. But all integers, positive integers. So let's get started. I will write our factorial terms in the left hand side. So 12 times x plus 1 factorial would be equal to x power 6 plus x power 3. In next step, I would take x power 3 common out. So it will give us x cube plus 1. Now I will write two identities. First one, a cube plus b cube formula or identity. So I will write a cube plus b cube is a plus b in second bracket, a square plus b square minus ab. Okay, and second is recursive formula of factorials. I can write n times n minus 1 factorial. So let's consider our equation. So this equation will convert into 12 times x plus 1 x x minus 1 factorial. See using recursive formula. Here we are having descending order in the numbers. Right hand side we are having x cube in bracket I will write x plus 1 x square minus x plus 1. Now see because of x is not equal to 0 let me write here not equal to 0 and not equal to negative 1. It won't satisfy our equation you can pass this value. So I can divide by that number or I can simply cancel both sides. So let me cancel directly. So if I will cancel x then it will be 2 here. x plus 1 will be cancelled out completely. So what is left in the left hand side that is 12 times x minus 1 factorial which will be equal to x square in bracket x square minus x plus 1. Okay. Now, see left hand side we have x minus 1 factorial. So, substitution is required. So, now I will write let x minus 1 is equal to suppose y. Okay. So, from here we can write x would be equal to y plus 1. So, left hand side will be, let me take this one, 12 times y factorial equal to RHS would be x square. So I will consider y plus 1 whole square in bracket y square x square. So I will write y plus 1 whole square minus x. So minus y minus 1 plus 1. Okay. Now plus 1 minus 1 I will cancel out. So what is left? y square plus 2y plus 1 in second bracket y square plus 2y minus y. So plus y plus 1. Okay. And left hand side is 12 times y factorial. 
Okay, let's take the product. So I will take 12y factorial as it is unchanged and right hand side would be y square. If you will take simple means if you will add all the terms you will get equation y power 4 plus 3y cube plus 4y square plus 3y plus 1. Okay, what we our assumption was x minus 1 we substituted as y. Remember always because ultimately we will convert into x. Okay, now what I will do, I will apply recursive formula again. So again I will write 12 times y into y minus 1 factorial equal to our RHS as it is y power 4 plus 3y cube plus 4y square plus 3y plus 1. Now divide this complete equation by y. Okay, so let me divide by y. 12 y minus 1 factorial would be equal to y cube plus 3y square plus 4y plus 3 plus 1 over y. Remember always what was our domain x greater than or equal to minus 1. So that won't change. Okay. Now what I will write here or what I will do here. See left hand side. If you will observe this side. Then I can conclude from the factorials logic y must be greater than or equal to 1. See this this factorial cannot be negative. We are looking for only positive integer. No gamma function. So y greater than or equal to 1. Okay. Now come to right hand side. If you will see up to this point. So it is integer. Once y is integer and it is greater than 1. That term will come out integer. So it is always integer. So where is concerned that is only 1 over y. So important two points are there. First one is y greater than or equal to 1. And second point is LHS is positive integer. So our LHS is positive integer. So RHS should match it. This term is already integer. So only 1 over y has to be integer. This term has to be integer. Now important conclusion is if this term has to be integer then y must be equal to 1. y must be equal to 1. Okay. If y is other than one value then this will be fraction 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4, 1 over 5 and it will make the RHS fractional value. So important is y must be equal to 1. Now what I am going to do, I will put y value here. Okay. So x minus 1 equal to 1. No arguments here. Just by logics, there are two and you have to conclude from the RHS 1 over y term. So x will be equal to 2. Directly you can conclude from here. Let's verify the value x equal to 2. Verification. x equal to 2. Okay. 2 power 6. Here I am putting 2 power 6 plus 2 power 3 equal to 12 times 2 plus 1 factorial. So 2 power 6, 4 is 16, 5 32, 6 64 plus 8 equal to 12 times 3 factorial. It is 72. This would be 3 factorial is 6. So 72 equal to 72. That means it is true. So our final and correct answer is x is equal to. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care.